Hey, what's up, everybody? James here, and back with another video review for you. So, today I'm doing a review of the new Transformers um, computerized series, Transformers Prime. So, it's a very cool series, um, it's apparently, and it apparently consists of five parts, you know, like a five part mini series. Just before I get into that, it's disappointing to find that it's only going to be like, I don't know, five parts. I would have preferred it to be similar to Night Slash Time 20, like from 10 to 20, you know. But in the series, you know, at the start of it, um, the story is that the, the Autobots have been protecting Earth for about three years because the Decepticon activity has died down and all, so yeah. Anyway, in a second we'll get a photo of the team, or the photo of the everybody. Here we go. Okay, here is the cast. Bumblebee, RC, Optimus Prime, Ratchet, Cliffjumper, Bulkhead. Then up in the far right corner, going from the right to the left, there's Megatron, Starscream's the one just above. Uh, below Starscream is a Decepticon drone, and to the le left of him is Soundwave. So, the, the crew, the cast in all this is superb. Luckily, Peter Cullen returned to voice Optimus in the series, which I think is a huge leap forward for him, because, you know, in the G1 series, he was happy as Larry, Sorry if that sounds weird, it's the phrase we use in Ireland. You know, he was happy as Larry to voice Optimus in G1 and in the movies. Yeah. So, in a minute I'm going to show you each uh, individual character. So the circle around this one is Bumblebee. Bumblebee is just around the same as the movies and animated. In, uh, in this one, he saw, he's similar to his movie one. Form only he doesn't use radio clips to talk. All he does is go like, is go like, you know, so much like that R two guy from Star Wars. But anyway, um, next one. So then this next one is R C. Although R C in the story is a good character and maybe taking one of the lead roles, I. I'm not saying I disapprove of her, I just disapprove of her colour scheme. From G1 up to about animated, including the movies, she was like red or pink. Blue makes her look like Chromia from T Transformers 2, you know, so... So then we move on to the big bot, the big guns, Prime. <clears throat> Autobots, roll out. <laughs> you know? Prime is a cool character, his vehicle mode is the same as the movies, a truck. The only problem is it isn't, you know, as realistic looking as it is in the movie, you know. <coughs> Sorry. But you know, he does look impressive and no offense like Hasbro, but you made a real mess up of his face up under the shield. So then we move on to Ratchet. Ratchet, dare I say it, is one of my least favourite characters. In fact, even his grumpy old version in animated seems to seems to be better than this. In fact, in fact, Ratchet in this, although he seems to take over as liaison of the bay of the Autobot BS, he doesn't seem to play much of a lead role except paramedic or something. So then we move on to Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper. He starts off the story talking to RC, the first ever episode. Then he's kidnapped. He's, he then finds some energon. He's captured by Decepticon drones, and Starscream kills him. And then in part two, he's turned into a psychomaniac by some blood of Unicron or dark energon. But anyway, then comes the biggest disappointment of all. Not that I'm accusing Bulkhead fans, but Bulkhead, I think, led a big... I think Bulkhead was a good character in Animated, but not so much for TF Prime. I think he slightly let it down a little, but he is a good character, yet, yet most of the characters here were in the movies. Bulkhead wasn't, so... Mm, fortunately. 
Then we move on to the big bad guy, Megatron. Megatron is, I think, is just the same as his first movie form, a giant Cybertronian jet. Only he's half TF1 and half G1. You know, because his big cannon is on his arm, and there seems to be a Popeye blade or some pointy thing come out of it. You know, so, yeah. So then, we have Starscream. Starscream... A Starscream in the, in the series has a good vehicle mode, despite the fact I've seen in Darkness Rising Part 2. I think he looks okay, his face and his voice are weird, if you know what I mean. Because if you listen to all the previous voices of Starscream, this one and his face looks pretty much weird, if you get what I mean. You know? So then, we move on to the far left. And this is Soundwave. Soundwave leads a, leads a very, very small role, even for Episode 1, Darkness Rising Part 1, you know. I think he's meant to turn into a jet, but he records RC's voice after a transmission to Cliffjumper, and, he, and after that you th almost think Soundwave was a girl. Weird or what? So now, finally, we move on to one of the Decepticon drones. <coughs> there are a hell of a lot of these things in the series. They all turn into the exact same type of car. Just look at one and they all turn into it, you know? Um, in vehicle mode, they have raise up guns from the hood. And in robot mode, they're pretty much badass. In fact, I almost thought that these things were clones of Soundwave. But whenever I saw Soundwave, boring. So, overall, um, well, at the time that I'm doing this video, only two episodes have been brought up, The Darkness Rising Part 1 and 2. But overall, I think that the series is brilliant. There is some amazing computerization in it. There are a couple of clips from the, from the first Transformers movie that went well for it, only it didn't, that went well for the movie, but not as much the series. But other than that, I think this is superb. <coughs> I'd give it a salt 8 out of 10. Characters, my top 5 favourite characters are Optimus, Bumblebee, MRC, um, E and Cliffjumper, Megatron and Starscream. Ratchet Bulk hid the, the drones in Soundwave and let me down real bad. So, my advice, watch as much as you can and... So, I'm saying night, so see you later.